It's another lady of the house kind of day, and today we are discussing organization in the bathroom. Welcome back, ladies. Today we are in my bathroom. I am going to share with you my guest bathroom as well, but we have three bathrooms within my home, and so we are not going to go into the girls' bathroom this time, but we do have a guest bathroom in addition to this off of the master suite. So this bathroom right here that I'm in, this is something that we created my husband like I drew it all out and everything um, it was something that we did just to kind of finish off this space when we were renovating this home but it wasn't going to be my dream bathroom so we tried to cut costs when it came to just the overall look of this bathroom and everything and I feel that I've really done the best that I can with not wanting to spend a lot of money in here. So today we are going to be discussing organizing for the bathroom that we have. One of the things that I would really appreciate after having a pedestal sink in my bathroom is definitely a, a some kind of furniture piece for the vanity itself and I possibly would like to have you know two sinks at first I was thinking I wouldn't want two sinks but now I wouldn't be so opposed to having two sinks but definitely drawers and cabinets underneath the sink I think would be a real benefit especially in a bathroom so if you have those things that's great I'm sure it's a lot easier for you to organize your space but I still think that no matter what bathroom we have, we can still organize it beautifully, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. I have gone through many different phases within this bathroom, different pieces of furniture, just trying to figure out how I can have those things on hand that I would need in here, but then also eliminating those things that I could do without just to keep this space clutter-free and function well for us. So this is a bathroom that my husband and I share. However, he does not bathe in this bathroom. When we were making this bathroom over, I had originally wanted a shower to be able to be in this uh, clawfoot tub. Um, I would have been fine with a wraparound curtain in there, but he just wanted to go the route of it being the um, like the faucet down here and it's not even one of those older style faucets that I would have loved to have but that's okay what we have here works for what I use this space for which is more of like a retreat for me it's a place that I can just really relax and unwind at the end of the day now we also brush our teeth in here and my husband shaves as well, but he also gets ready in the guest bathroom. He likes to use that shower in there, and so he has some things in that bathroom as well. He also cuts his hair in there. So it's a little different. I feel that it's a little harder to say, well, the bathroom should have this and that because our bathroom is a lot different. It serves for so many different purposes and we have other bathrooms that we use as well. And I take a shower in the other bathroom too. I actually go from bathroom to bathroom. It's a great way to clean the bathrooms when you are taking a shower. So that is something that I do as well. But Today I wanted to share the main things that I keep in this bathroom and then I've already discussed as far as the bedroom organization goes, the different places that we can do different things like our makeup, our hair, things like that. I don't use this bathroom to do those things. And part of that I would have to say is because I don't have natural light in this bathroom. Something I feel every bathroom should have is a window. but sometimes you're limited to that sometimes you can't decide those things so this bathroom does not have a window which to me makes it a little bit more sad which means i needed to do a lot to make it a much happier place such as those decals in there that is a project that i recently did which i shared over on patreon and it has completely changed 
just the overall feel of that water closet because I love it. And as you can see, there we go. Um, so anyway, sometimes just doing really fun little projects, especially in a bathroom because it's a smaller space, is a lot of fun and just makes you feel a little happier going into that space. So when it comes to organizing our bathrooms, I think that there is one main thing to focus on, and that is ease of cleaning because this is a space that gets very dirty very fast and nobody likes to go into a dirty messy bathroom so here are my tips when it comes to organizing a bathroom keep things as simple as possible meaning not a lot on the counter so that you have to move things around i can't tell you how many bathrooms i've been in that they're there it's just product overload all over in the bathroom. I like to walk into a space and it kind of feel like more of a spa when it comes to bathrooms. Just the necessities and okay, maybe a little bit of decor out, but just those things that we really use every time that we go in there is really all that's needed. And then there are other spaces that we can do the other things. So that's something that I also try to encourage my girls with because they have all of their different products and different things that they like to use. and. I encourage them to all have caddies so that they can bring their things into whatever bathroom they're going to be using. When you're limited on bathrooms with the amount of people that you have in a home, that is really the best way to go about making sure that you have all of your things with you when it comes time to get ready. So kind of like when you are going to be staying somewhere, right? For instance, I just went to Salt Lake City recently and we rented an Airbnb with my brother and one of the things that I really appreciate about staying with him is that he is very mindful of the space and that's something that I am mindful of as well so when we go into the bathroom we take what we need in with us but we also take it out so one another's things are not cluttering up the counter cluttering anything up you take everything with you it's the best way to be a great house guest and to have roommates i feel so that's kind of how i set this space up in here because my husband and i share this space I have little baskets for each of us, and this is how I have everything organized right now. I have done many different things. If you have been with me for any length of time, you know that I have shared over the years different organization that I have within our, our bathroom here. So this is a cleaning cart that I have that I just keep some extra hand towels in, which I'm not always using these. I have a stand where I have the towels that I use every single day, but sometimes if I'm going to be washing those, maybe I will take out another towel. Or when I'm in the bathtub, I like to have a towel kind of hanging on the side if I need to dry my hands for any reason. So I have these hand towels within here. It's a great place to just keep them because of the way that this drawer pulls out with the glass flap on top. It's just a little bit more, I would say things aren't as easily accessible as a cabinet. So that's where I keep those things. Then underneath I have two baskets. I found these baskets at Michael's and I am very tempted to go back and get a couple a couple more of them because I have them in various places in my home and they are so cute, just beautiful, and I love the color that the wicker is. So it just, I think, makes for a great way to organize. And then it's not that plastic bin that, you know, I don't know, I have a thing about plastic bins. They just kind of look cheap to me. So I've been getting away from using those within a lot of things. Now, they do have their place, I feel, but something more like this is just a little bit more homey looking and I feel looks great on shelves, 
um, out in the open. So I would definitely invest in more of these. Now I have one for myself and one for my husband. So to save your marriage, get your own toothpaste tube. That's all I would say. No, it, I mean, hopefully that would not be a deal breaker there, but to keep from having arguments or just, um, you know, frustration in that regard, if you have your own toothpaste tube, that would serve you very well. And really for everybody, I like a different toothpaste than the kids like, then, you know, so if everybody had their own things, then everybody can keep their toothpaste the way that they want to keep it that's important to them because there's nothing worse than going to use the toothpaste tube and it's all gross and if somebody else doesn't mind that let that be for them but it's not going to be on my toothpaste tube so i have my own and i just have my own little basket i feel that this acts as a little drawer so i can just pull this basket out put it on top of the I used to use this as a cleaning cart, but it's just our little cart here in the bathroom now. And everything that I need that I use in this bathroom is right there. Now, one of the things that I also like to do in here, of course, is to floss my teeth. And so does my husband. So we have a little jar on there, which I also got at Michael's. But any jar will do, especially one with a lid, because then it keeps from, you know, dust settling on it and they're just, you know that those ones are clean. So I keep all of those little toothpicks, tooth uh, floss things right in there. And then it's clear so I can always see if, if it needs to be refilled or anything like that. And then also the soap, which I use the same hand soap as I use for my face. Some people might say, you know, that's not a great thing, but the less products to me, the better. I do have a cleanser, which is by Lancome, which is wonderful. It takes off any extra makeup. Now let's talk about the towels that we have out. I have a towel that is for just drying my hands. I have a towel that is for kind of wiping off my face and then any extra makeup that I might be wanting to take off with like the mascara or the eyeliner that's really being stubborn, I will use my product on the other side of that towel and then just make sure to wipe all of that off. So something for my hands, something for my face, and then I have one extra little towel which it it's very dingy looking and this was a cleaning towel of my Grammys and she she said that I could have those after she passed so they just hold very special meaning to me and I love them in my bathroom because it gives it more of that vintage feel that I so love about bathrooms and I feel that the perfect bathroom to me is pink because Bathrooms are just happier when they're pink or peach. It's peach rose, so it just has that more vintage feel to me, and I love it. And I'm very grateful that my husband doesn't care about any of that, and he's good with whatever way I decide to decorate and thinks that it looks pleasing, so that's something I'm grateful for. But having those three different towels makes a big difference, and then I clean those once a week. And... As soon as they're done cleaning, I just hang them back up on this rack, which a rack like this is wonderful. I actually got this idea from my Grammy. This is how she used to, you know, put all of her towels, especially in the shower that she had. And so I just think that it comes in so handy because I have different towels for different things and it just makes it really easy. So. We have one for the hands, face, and then the last one, the dingy one, is for cleaning the mirror and cleaning the sink out. I think that this is very important, especially as the lady of the house, to, and hopefully you're teaching others within your home this as well, to make sure that you are cleaning the space as you go. Never leave a space dirty. You are making sure that um, 
you leave a space better than you found it. So this towel right in here, this little hand towel that I have is that for this space. I like to just wipe off the counter really fat or wipe off the sink and, and everything. And then um, the mirror as well just gets all of those uh, water spots off of there. And the organization of this makes it to where it is so easy to do that. And my bathroom always feels pristine and just like everything is in its place. Now on top of this cleaning cart, I also have this tray which I also found at Michael's. Michael's right now has this line that is the French Chateau line and they've had it since last year. And so I have picked up several things from that line because it really fits the aesthetic that I love. That French provincial look, um, just that more princessy style. You can probably see that from a lot of the ways that I decorate, but it's just beautiful to me and makes things, as I say, feel very cozy and at home, but also like it's it's a little bit more regal. I like that look as well. Okay, so on this tray is where I would put any earrings that I just want to take off when I'm washing my face, washing my hands, as well as a little clip. I just keep a little clip over here because when I am washing my face, I want to have something to put my hair up with, but I make sure that it looks beautiful so that when I come in here, it's just like it belongs. Now again, we are not crowding this space with things that we don't use this space for or just because we feel that we've always heard something needs to be in a certain space. I completely go against that because I think that there are different spaces that we can use for different things and it really does free up that space for the next person that needs to use it. You're not constantly hogging the bathroom, right? You're not monopolizing every, you know, the bathroom time and you can do things in different areas. This is a great reason why I put mirrors all over my home. Anybody can go and get ready and do different things in different spaces. Okay, let's move on to the laundry hamper. I have a laundry hamper that is pretty exposed here in the bathroom and I just keep it to the side and all of my clothing goes in there and everything that I wear in a week fits in this hamper right here. Right now it's empty because I just did my laundry, which means it smells amazing in here because I hang dry my clothing as well. And my husband has a hamper as well. And within this water closet is another closet within the closet. And that is where he has his hamper and he has more space to hang clothes and all of the different things that he likes to store and keep, he keeps in there. But the water heaters in there as well. So it's it's not the prettiest space, but he likes it. He likes that extra space that he has and he can do with it as he pleases. But um, one of the things that I ask him is that if he needs his laundry done when it's not just on his laundry day, then if he can just pull out his laundry hamper and put it in the laundry room, then I know just to do it. By the time he gets back, it's done like magic everything's put away and then i just quickly put his laundry hamper back in that closet so having a space for everything and just organizing things in a way that you are going to use them where you use them that makes a big difference okay let's talk about this space above the clawfoot tub i really wanted something to just house all those products that i would use but they would be out of the way because before I had these shelves here, I put things on like a little table, but it was out in the open here and this isn't the biggest space at all. So it was kind of in the way. So getting these floating shelves to be hung up here made a big difference. And as you can see, I have another basket there that I keep products that I don't want to see. Baskets are a great way to conceal all of those little extra things that you might use, but you don't want to see all the time. So I have all of my sugar scrubs and just, you know, the loofahs sitting in there. 
Um, that's not necessarily where I would keep it unless it's dry. Like I have a little hook here on the faucet where I can just hang that to dry, but then, you know, it can go in there easily. And then I have my bath oil in there as well as a space for the shampoo, conditioner, and then the body wash. And I just use jars that well the pumps that I think I found those at Tuesday morning and um, it came with some hand soap in it already those are great jars to decant any of your products and if you have say a bathtub that you want to have all of your shampoo and conditioner anything like that in there just finding a beautiful hand pump for soap it could have been hand soap before, it could have been dish soap. You know, they have so many different things. You can find them at Ross, you can find them at TJ Maxx, anywhere that sells those things like that in the bathroom section. So they don't have to be what they were originally for. You can put different products in there. Okay, and then above there, I just have a lot of things that I use for decor, just something to be beautiful, but also functional. So the flowers, I mean, that's a beauty thing. But then I have candles and then um, the clock, which is very helpful to me, especially when getting ready. I think in any bathroom, it's great to have a clock. And then also a, another jar, it's kind of like a candy dish that I put all of those eucalyptus, um, they were shower pellets, but that's where I keep those, as well as the hair treatments that I use for my hair, just that leave-in conditioner. They come in little tubes, and so it's a great way to conceal all of those little products, but still have them on hand. So for me, it's all about organizing in a beautiful way and not having too much out. So now let's talk about organizing things in the water closet. There are certain things that I like to have on hand and I just keep those things in a little basket and they're always accessible to me. I wanted to keep them within that closet over there but because of the setup of everything, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, eventually, I might get something that hangs on the wall um, especially that I could put beyond that closet in there and then just open the closet a little bit and then it's not out in the open. I really don't like things out in the open when it comes to the uh, anything by the toilet because especially if a man is using that bathroom, it just, you know, just for hygiene purposes, it's not the greatest thing to have anything out near that area. So, that is where I keep all of my products right in there, but they are accessible to me and that's just what I'm doing for now. There might come a time where I might change that, but that's really how I have everything. And then of course I have a place to hang towels in here, the ones that I use every day, the one my husband uses every day. And then I also have an over the door hanger, which I usually keep my bathrobe on there, which I, I just took down for the video because it was just too much that I was seeing. I really hope that this video inspires you to think outside of the box and to organize beautifully. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mm -hmm.